Ladies and gentlemen, today we have an opponent that is going full Eeveelution on us. In the history of the channel, I don't think this has ever happened before. Uh, so this is going to be a pretty interesting match here. Listen, I don't want to say it, but I gotta say it. If you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to hit that like button. It really does help out the channel, and I appreciate all the support. Cringe YouTuber shit aside, I've got my team of OG outcasts ready to get stuff going, and let's go ahead and hop into the match. So my opponent is going to go ahead and lead off with their electric EV, and I've got two things. I've got a mushroom, and I've got a plan. I decide to lead off with a parasect. Now the reason is, I can go ahead and bluff the spore, and expect the Leafeon to come in and to absorb that, and then I just go for an X Scissor instead. So that's exactly what I'm going to go for here. I am focus sashed and I know Jolteon can't knock me out turn one, and they do decide to go for the Volt Switch. Now that does a whole shit ton of damage, I'm a thick ass mushroom and that does way too much, that leads me to believe that that thing is probably going to be choice specs. As he ends up actually going into the Espeon instead, so I still go for the X Scissor, get that super effective stab damage, and unfortunately for me he is going to be focus sashed as well. But I'm totally fine with that, this may be the world record for Parasect turn 1 damage, so that's amazing. I'm able to knock that thing down to its sash, gonna make it a lot easier to take care of later. And I do want to save the Parasect in the back, there's a couple different evolutions that this thing might be useful for later on. So I decide to switch into some Blueberry Milk, I come in unsuspecting, titties flopping, and he actually ends up just going right for a Psychic, which... To my surprise, is gonna do over half. Now this Titty Milk is not invested in special defense. And that is my fault, so I cannot take two of these, unfortunately. The pink EV is way too strong for my ass. And I don't really have anything that wants to switch into a Psychic either, so I kinda just have to let Miltank go down. And the worst thing about that is now I don't have access to lay up Stealth Rock on their side of the field. So I have to go without the hazards. Um, but that good news that does come out of this is gonna be that I can get a free switch into Pinsir. Uh, now, Pinsir actually has a pretty solid matchup here. The one Pokemon I do not want coming in is going to be the Flareon. So, I can decide to go for an Earthquake here. I know that I outspeed, obviously, Choice Scarf. Um, but if he decided to go into Flareon, then the Earthquake catches it off guard. But at least we are able to take care of the Espeon. Hardest hitting, fastest boy out of the way. And I get myself a nice little Moxie with the Pinsir here. Now, he does still have the Umbreon. He does decide to go into that, seeing as I revealed that I'm Choice Scarf here. He knows that all I can really do is click that Earthquake. So I have to switch. Pinsir is going to be way too valuable for me, especially because it's going to be kind of my best option for taking care of this Umbreon later. But I decide to switch into Muck here. I come in, give him a nice little how you doing. I flip him off, which isn't the nicest. Um, but he actually ends up going for the Yawn. So stop getting drowsy is not something I'm super interested in. Um, I really wanted to try to get some Poison Jab damage, potentially get a nice little Poison Touch Poison on this thing. At least be able to whittle it down to range. Um, but I do end up switching out here because I do not really want to take uh, put that thing to sleep because Muck's looking pretty nice here. So, uh, on the switch, they actually end up going for the Wish here. Now, Parasect is able to come in for free, which, again, does not happen often. And Parasect is out here on top of the world. The guy's just doing stuff he's never done before. And I figure, let's keep it going, buddy. Uh, I'm going to go for the Spore here as he actually ends up going for a Baby Doll Eyes. Now, if there's anything that uh, Parasect did not need, it was an attack drop. So now... You know, I can't really crawl myself out of a wet paper bag, but we're going to try to see if we can still make some shit happen. Uh, luckily, at least able to put this thing to sleep, which is super nice. Uh, the Spore is great utility on this boy, as he actually ends up staying in, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go for the Swords Dance here. At least get back some of that attack, and then some. So at least now I'm looking extra sharp over here, and with the, the Stab X Scissor, I should be able to do a nice chunk to this thing. And my main goal uh, is to pretty much just get some chip damage on this, so that Pinsir can potentially knock it out later. So... One bug's got to do the work for the other bug to thrive, and the X-Scissor is going to do a nice chunk of damage here. Unfortunately, with that, with that baby doll eyes, I'm not quite able to knock it into uh, to be able to get a KO there. But at least, still, if this thing doesn't have the ability to get a wish off on itself, it's looking like it's going to be easy to take care of. Now, unfortunately, he does wake up, goes for the foul play, and that is going to take me out. But Reginald, we're proud of you, buddy. We always are. Thank you very much for your services, my little mushroom pal. Uh, also, an interesting note is that foul play plus baby doll eyes combo, a little interesting here on this, uh, this Umbreon. But uh, we did the work we needed to do, so now that Pinsir can come in and scare this thing out with an X Scissor. Um, I don't really know if they want to end up switching into that Flareon. They probably do not want to on the risk that I go for the Earthquake here. Uh, so he's actually just going to end up staying in, goes for the baby doll eyes with that priority, gets that minus one attack. But have you seen my horns, bro? I absolutely, absolutely slice and dice this motherfucker up. And even with the attack drop, of course, that is going to knock this thing out. So down goes the Umbreon. And that is great because that just kind of opens the door because now he doesn't really have any defensive Umbreons left. So get that nice little Moxie boost, brings me back to even, and in comes the Jolteon. Now had he not gone for the baby doll eyes at plus one, I would feel confident enough to stay in. 
But I do have to end up going for the switch here because I don't want to end up losing pincer because it's way too valuable for the late game here. So I decide, you know, I've got a special defensive ass sponge and that is going to be the muck. So I come in on the volt switch. Look at how much that does to muck at max HP. Super good special defensive natural bulk and that does a lot. So that, that pointy EV is going to be going to be scary. But uh, here he actually ends up bolt switching into the Leafeon. Now, he, I feel like he has better options, but he decides to go Leafeon because maybe he, my boy's sleeping on Muck out here. So he goes for the Swords Dance, and I'm thinking he has to have some type of trick up his sleeve, and I'll be damned if I get swept by this, this Sharp Kale. So, uh, I go for the Poison Jab here, and it's a pretty high chance to poison and also going to do a whole bunch of stab damage. Uh, it does knock it to red, and of course I get that Poison Touch coming clutch with that ability. Do not touch me, you get the AIDS and he actually ends up popping the Citrus Berry. So I'm thinking his plan was to be able to get up a Swords Dance, Citrus Berry range, gonna get him pretty healthy, um, and then any other neutral attack should do pretty decent damage, although people do be sleeping on the thickness of Muck. Have you seen the viscosity of this dude? I'm out here able to take pretty much any attacks unless it's like, for some reason, Leafeon can <laughs> learn Earthquake. Uh, it can actually learn Dig, which I was kind of concerned about, but uh, ends up actually going for the Aerial Ace here. Not going to be quite enough to take care of me, and I know that I can live pretty much any attack. I go for the Curse in case it wants to Dig, um, but that's just going to give me that nice little plus one in attack and defense, and I know that I have the priority with the Shadow Snake. So unfortunately for him, the Aerial, aerial Ace is not going to be quite enough and Muck is an absolute beast. Even though the Poison Touch doesn't really matter, it puts it in guaranteed range here for the Shadow Sneak to kill, which he probably doesn't even know is a thing, because who uses Muck? Pretty much nobody. I go for the Shadow Sneak, takes care of the Leafeon. Now I wanted to go for that Curse, just so that I then get another pretty decently hard-hitting Shadow Sneak on whatever you know evolution he brings in next. So I munch on a little bit of Black Sludge, and Muck's having himself a decent time out here. So he ends up going into the Jolteon, uh, knows that, of course, the Thunderbolt should be able to take me out, so at least I can get a Shadow Sneak off. I do have that chance to get the Poison Touch, but even just with a little bit of chip damage, it's going to make this Jolteon decently easy to take care of. So, the Thunderbolt does take me out, I don't get the Poison Touch, and down goes the Muck, but at least I've done the damage I needed to do. And this is going to open the door once again for the Choice Scarf Pincer to come in, who of course does outspeed the Jolteon, and I can really threaten this thing either to switch out or just get the KO here. So I come in, I decide to just go for the Earthquake. Um, I'm still kind of worried about potential Flareon, but he's probably not going to hard switch it into this thing uh, if he's seen you know, this Pincer do shit so far. So he actually ends up going into Glaceon here, comes in with his little boots ready, ready, ready to take on the world, although just comes right into a fucking Earthquake. And unfortunately, that's not going to do quite enough for a 2-hit KO, and I really need to conserve this pincer. So, I'm going to go ahead and switch into my Slowbro. Now, I'm thinking if it's just Ice Beam, that's totally fine. I have a great switch in here. If it's Freeze Dry, you know, that sucks, but I don't really have any other options. So, I come in. It is going to be Freeze Dry. Absolutely just freezes my ass into a Popsicle, a uh, Popsicle, per se, and <laughs> it's going to knock me down into red. And I don't really have another option to switch into here. I should have likely actually gone into... The Persian, knowing I can take at least one attack, then I can bring this thing down with like a hyper beam. But I figured the slow bro wasn't super useful. I know that a choice scarf pincer can can be able to knock out the Flareon. So um, down goes the paw. A little bit of a misplay on my end, and now I'm down to two mods. I got the Puthy and I got the Dick Pinch, and we're ready to get shit going. So I decide to go into the Persian here now. Um, I'm, I know I'm gonna be able to outspeed unless this thing is like weirdly choice scarf, but it turns out it is fucking choice scarf And he goes for the freeze dry Luckily, I haven't taken any chip damage on Persian here I'm able to take that and then fire off a nice little laser beam in return and that is going to knock out the Glaceon So now he's down to two Pokemon. He's got the Jolteon and the Flareon a couple of gen 1 OGs and I have a pussy who needs to recharge and a pincer in a dream so in comes the Jolteon, of course, this thing is going to be able to outspeed, I must recharge anyway, and a Thunderbolt is going to take me out. So, I am honestly fine with this because I've got the best late game Moxie Boy in the back and Pinsir is ready to you know, do exactly what this thing is built to do. You save him all game for situations like this, and uh, I come in obviously Choice Scarf, I know I can outspeed both of his last Pokemon, and then with a Moxie boost on this first Jolteon, I should have enough attack to take care of the Flareon. So, 
Down goes the Jolteon, finally satisfying as hell to see that pointy boy gone. And now it is just Flareon against the Pinsir, which ordinarily you look at this matchup and say, damn, this Flareon's got this shit in the bag. But I am a Moxie Pinsir with some big ol' horns, and I will not be embarrassed by no fire-ass Eevee. The worst Eeveelution by far, by the way. Leave a comment if you disagree. Um, so I go for the Earthquake here, and of course, outspeeding with the Choice Scarf, with that Moxie boost, the Flareon is going to go down. So that is going to be the end of the match there. I had a whole lot of fun with it. Super interesting team, although... He was missing one thing, and that, ladies and gentlemen, is Vaporeon. And the reason for that is because in terms of male, human, and female Pokemon breeding, Vaporeon is the most